All right. Hello, hello, hello. Forgive me. I just woke up. I, I just saw the changes and everything. So I thought I'd talk about the warrior change where we got our buffs to Merciless, which is now uh, the Frenzied Strike buffs. It got removed and put it on Mercy. So the crit buff is now 5% on Merciless and Frenzied Strike no longer has it. And they also gave Slashing the Dead a 20 AP buff, or not AP, I'm sorry, DP, that'd be crazy. Uh, 20 DP buff, so they basically took that off of Mercy and then they put that on Slashing the Dead, which is very nice. We didn't get the add-on changes, which I'm super disappointed that we didn't get it. I'm not surprised, I'm just, I'm just sad. But eventually we will get it. So I've been messing around with some add-ons, I've been messing around with some combos, and I thought I'd just share some first initial oppressions, things like that. Uh, I've already been kind of preparing my combos for when this change came out and one of the coolest things that you can do with Mercy is being able to block cancel it into a ton of different abilities. So this is going to be a core thing for a lot of warriors that really want to maximize damage and you want to like you know dispatch somebody without having to rely so much on like ankle break pulverized tempest like that's our big damage right like that's our like biggest way to kill people in combos but when you can't get a combo going in large scale like for me most of my kills in large scale come from 50 slashing and being able to like position correctly to where i can drop protected damage and then get away appropriately so that's like just comes down to positioning and being able to dispatch important targets or like you know just kind of flank around and assassinate who you need to so now we've got a few different tools in our kit now that we can dispatch opponents more quickly and effectively. So one of the biggest things you're going to want to get used to doing is block canceling out of mercy and then going into like grave digging. So for example, you can do mercy block cancel and then go directly into grave digging, which is incredibly strong. It's super strong because not only are you getting the 5% buff, I decided to remove my solar flare add-on so i added this so now we have human damage and crit damage so now it's it's five percent damage plus three percent crit damage so we're looking at a solid eight percent and then human damage of course and then not to mention grave digging i put a bleed on it and all dp up to make sure that i'm tanky enough to survive any kind of like you know maybe dog piling on top of me or something because i'm usually pretty tanky i run renaro's rings and narcs and uh, voltara and you know just super tanky shit so for the most part, I'm very, very tanky on uncapped wars, but yeah, we'll see what happens for capped wars, but uncapped, I'm like super fucking tanky. And the whole idea here is to try and maximize the, the protected damage combo, right? So if you guys can tell, look at this. So we go mercy and then we go that cancel was heat. Oh my God. By the way, that's a very rare cancel. Uh, to get to get the the whole grave digging animation you can you can cancel that entire thing and it'll come out instantly there's a way to do it uh i can very rarely do it most of the time it comes out like that it's still quicker than the normal animation but there's there's some specific trick in timing where you can insta cancel the whole fucking grave digging animation i me and franco have been trying to figure out how to do it flawlessly and just get it done every single time but if anybody can figure out how to do that shit, you let me know in Discord DMs ASAP. Because that, that is the, that like, there it is again. Mm. If, I, if I could do that on repeat, if I could do that every single time. Oh my God, that would be so sick. Oh my God, I love that cancel. But like, it's, it's very hard to do. It's very difficult to do. Uh, it's not something that I would ever like rely on until like you like you just knew what the actual tech was to get it to come out That's the only big thing. So like yeah, it, it's cool But like most of the time like, you're just gonna get the normal animation where it's just gonna kind of come out like normally in, in, Where it's just like like a regular block cancel So it, it won't cancel where it does that super sped up animation. It'll usually look like that that's normally what, what it's going to look like most of the time until you figure out how to do the speed cancel but and that's good that's good because you're getting the the five percent buff and then you're getting the dp buff and you're bleeding the enemy and then slashing the dead for the extra dp to keep it up at all times and then like you're doing a shit ton of damage plus the add-ons and everything it's really nice and mind you that's a fully protected combo like that's that like super protected 
like so i'm running core mercy that's basically going to be my main core just to try and like maximize damage and also try and just be able to do as much damage as physically possible so it's like forward guard and then like sa and like you can do all kinds of extra garbage i'm retarded and i did the fucking <laughs> i defaulted to the mercy uh overwhelm which i'll talk about in a minute so again forward guard sa 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 and then you just get the fuck out like like there you go like you you have a fully protected damage drop with a good amount of damage there's probably better add-ons that would maximize the damage i'm still experimenting so bear with me but for the most part from a protected damage combo this is super efficient and really really nice and you can do a lot of damage to like anybody with just insane and especially if you're dropping 50 slashing two that's going to be that's going to be the biggest thing now real quick i do want to talk about some advanced cancels because i think that if you're a, a, a like a really crazy warrior player and you're you love the class and you want to maximize damage and take it a step further i want to talk about some serious cancels that you guys are going to want to master okay so one of the main one of the main cancels for the mercy change right i think this is going to be the biggest thing is doing merciless block cancel reckless so it should look something like this that would be one of the nastiest combos you could land on somebody it's uh very difficult to do because you have to block cancel merciless into overwhelm that's you know that that can be kind of difficult for some people i highly recommend practicing it in kind of like intervals or like like sections so practice the first part okay so like do merciless into overwhelm so boom and then there you go that's that would be the that, that would be the easiest thing to do is just practice that once you feel comfortable down with that you can then progress on to the uh onto the what you call it onto the you know reckless part so after overwhelm you do reckless so you do overwhelm block cancel reckless you want to do it faster than that though and then once you get comfortable again you just put it all together and you just you know bada bing and then there you go and then to put it all in a combo you could do something like this There you go. That's a pretty good combo right there. That's not too bad. Again, the big, big issue with learning that cancel, because again, the mercy cancels are very advanced, especially when you're trying to link them together with multiple block cancels. So you would do mercy block cancel, overwhelm block cancel, reckless or grave digging or whatever. You could even do like mercy slashing. So you could do there you go you do that too that one i don't think was correct but like you could do that as well if you really wanted to to maximize damage in that regard you can speed it up with 50 slashing and then it, even with that being said you can even do a bunch of other things that would make more sense that like like the reckless i think that's like the best one and then you could also do like extra stuff too like this boom and bam 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 that's fully protected you do that on a non-block class like that's a lot of damage like yeah obviously they're gonna get up like towards the end of that combo but that's a lot of damage too honestly the best thing to do it if you're trying to like combo it solar flare is a bit hard because you have to solar flare block cancel that can be a little disorienting i'm not very good at that one but when it comes to like heaven's cleave though that's a better option that we can do so we can do heaven's cleave like this and then we can just immediately go into mercy overwhelm and then slashing or like over overwhelm grave digging slashing and that kind of thing that's also an option as well which i think we also got a like heaven's cleave change too this is like so now like we can do it by pressing the b button uh and then it's like after hilt strike or, or whatever like like see yeah, okay yeah so like we can just we, we can just press the b button now and it goes directly into heaven's cleave so i'm curious so if i go let's say this and then hit that oh that flows really well whoa that that actually flows super fucking well so to to give context to why that that's really cool um, before how I would do that is I would immediately go after reckless into block cancel uh, heaven's cleave which it still works if you're comfortable with that 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 that's good too but you're adding extra steps now just pressing the B button after reckless it seems to flow incredibly well so that I'm actually gonna play with mercy unlocked and I'm gonna train my muscle memory to use that off of the B button and since it's not like some awkward like thing anymore it's actually kind of nice so maybe we can go into something like this boom 
boom, 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 combo, you know, do a little something like that. It's also kind of a thing, you know, I, I, I fuck with that. I like that a lot. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the timing down for it. Cause I think like that felt a little too slow, honestly. So boom. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. There we go. That's, that's sick. So even there too, mind you with the mercy, uh, with the mercy thing, if all you care about is the 5% and you don't care about the add-ons, you don't actually need to hit mercy. So you can just kind of block cancel it and you have the crit buff. There you go. You can just do that as a, as a pre-buff engage. So that's a sick option, honestly. And it lasts 10 seconds. So now you have a pretty decent timer on it. I think before it was like five seconds, which is pretty shit. So like, if you really don't care about the add-ons and stuff, which, you know, if you don't want to waste an add-on, you don't have to worry too much about it. You can just block cancel mercy and get the buff to do maximum damage with just the crit but i like the add-ons personally so i, I don't know it, there, there's there's a lot of different things that we can do now it's kind of sick so like I, it, it's it's very weird it's very weird now there, there's a lot of options that i'm trying to explore and again this is first impressions this is not a guide i'm like learning as i'm like messing around here so just kind of keeping like, like just just kind of bear with me here i'm kind of like like freaking out a little bit because of how cool this is so like just bear with me on that but yeah that th there's a lot of options now i i think mercy is going to be just uh it, like for, for the time being the best warriors are going to incorporate mercy i know i'm going to be doing mercy all like in all my combos i just got to figure out how to optimize them and how to like to just kind of keep it going you know what i'm saying but like right now like i love everything about these changes they're just it's so sick it's so sick with, with all that and i like that because of those changes the damage feels really good without having to use ankle break and pulverize tempest that i feel like my combos can just be really really good without having to rely on those two things which is very nice so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video uh let me know if you guys find anything cool or interesting about the warrior changes or any kind of like combos that you guys have been messing around with i'm super interested feel free to dm me on discord too that's yeah, that's totally fine but yeah, that's um that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys later.